In this clip, Martin Fowler speaks on the true meaning of software architecture and why it's not just about diagrams and patterns. And this reinforces what I think is a very key point. The architecture of a system doesn't lie in any architecture diagrams or any other static artifacts that are produced. That doesn't mean they're not useful, as we'll mention later on, um, but they are just one representation of the architecture, not the most important one. The most important one is the shared understanding between the people in the team as to what, how the system fits together. Kent Beck had a very nice little um, test he would do as a consultant. Um, he would wander around teams and say, describe to me how the system works using only four objects. And he said that he did that, if he did that, and most people picked the same or roughly the same four objects, he knew they had a good coherence across the whole team. But if everybody was telling him a completely, four diff completely different set of four objects, then he knew there was no coherence. So the architecture might be written down or on a diagram or something, but it wasn't in people's heads. And that's where the most important place for architecture is. It's in the heads of everybody who's taking part in it. And this is why practices like peer programming, originally championed by Ken Beck, are very useful. They don't just spread knowledge on how to write code, but also why things are structured the way they are. Because at the end of the day, no complex system can be fully captured by a static architecture diagram or design pattern. Even if you start with something like MPVM or Redux, the real world demands on the system will gradually bend and reshape that architecture. So what really matters is that the team shares a consistent mental model on how the system works, and that shared understanding is the architecture. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.